Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve the 2021 AMC 10B problem 8. So Mr. Zhao was placing some integers in this 15 by 15 grid. Places one in the middle square and is placing other numbers in this clockwise snake kind of pattern like we see here. So they're placing this in this kind of spiral, whatever snake kind of pattern like this, so on. And you want to find, but now it's only for a 5 by 5 grid they've shown here. They're saying for a 15 by 15 grid. Some of the numbers, there's some of the least and largest number in the second row from the top. So let's just see like what this is actually going to look like. Let's just try to notice some patterns and hopefully get get through this problem. Because this is a weird problem and apparently it actually came as one a similar math counts problem before. So that's very surprising as well. So basically we've got some, let's just draw like here. And then let's say we've got 15 by 15. So let's say we have, let's just say, instead of putting dot 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 on the outside like they did here, I'm going to put dot 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 on the inside. Because we really don't really care much about the um, inside much, like other than the beginning steps. So just ignore the inside. Sorry, ignore yeah, ignore the inside. Let's put a dot 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 here. So I'm really I only have drawn here the the last row because that's really only what matters. The last two rows is what matters in this problem. So basically, we see this is going to be all the way till 225. So the largest number, as you can see here, is going to be like this. The largest number, as you can see in this pattern here, is going to be 25, or is going to be the, is going to be in the rightmost corner. So in this case, 25, but in our case, 225. So 225 will go right here. But, right. So, is there anything else we can use from th that information? What does that information give us? Well, that gives us that if you just go backwards, so this is, this is 15 by 15, right? So that means that this spot right here will be 225 minus 14, or 211. Because we have to go 14 spots to the left to get to the leftmost point. Because if you think about it, in this case, we have to go in a 5 by 5 grid, you have to go 4 steps left. So in a 15 by 15 grid, you have to go 14 steps left. So the number is going to be 4 smaller on the leftmost corner than on the rightmost corner. And then we go down one more, and then we reach, we, if we go down one more to 210, we reach this next row here. So we can see that we're essentially kind of going backwards from the largest value to the smallest value. Because that, it's easier to work with. And anyways, the top row is going to be mostly from the larger values. So now we can see that 210. And since 210 is the first value to appear when going backwards, 210 has to be the largest value. Great. The greatest value is 210. Now we're done with half of the problem. Great. So greatest is 210. Now we still have to find the least value. And then we're done pretty much. So how do I find the least value? So what, what shape will we continue to write our numbers in? We're going to be 211. Then we go this bottom, what is this bottom, this corner here? What is the value of this corner here? So basically is, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to continue to go backwards until I reach second row, and then I can find the smallest value from there, hopefully. So 211 here, what is going to be the value of this corner here? Well, just like earlier, we're going to go 14 steps down, because it's 15 by 15 grid. So we have to do is 211 minus 14, which is 197. And then we subtract, we subtract 14 again to get 183. And then we subtract 13 to get 170. And that means the square here is 169. Great. And then we can continue going backwards. So now we have like a mini miniature 13 by 13 grid. Be very careful here. This is one. This is one. So this part on the inside here has to have 13. So from here we have to see that we will have to go 12 steps. Because it's 13 by 13, we're going to have to go 12 steps back from 169 to get to 157 right here. Because 13 by 13 grid, we have to go step 12 steps back to get go from the rightmost corner to the leftmost corner. So then the minimum possible value is 157, as you can see here. Because it starts out in this so this last row is consoles of 210, all the numbers from 157 to 70. So we can clearly see maximum 210, minimum 157. You add them up, you get 210 plus 157 is simply 367. And that is the solution for this problem. 